Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to start to learn, how to develop to-do list small application in PHP using Ajax. In this small application, all user can add item in his to-do list, his can change his status of to-do list, and he can also remove to-do list item also. For build this, to do list small application, we will use Ajax, so all operation will be done without refresh of web page. We have divide this, tutorial in four different part, in first part, we will see how to load, to list on web page. In second part, we will see how user can add new item in his to-do list. In third part, we will discuss how user can change status of his particular item. And in last part, we will see how to remove particular list of item from to-do list. Now let's start discussing this tutorial. This is our testing database. In this we have one task list table, we will store to do list data, under this table. Now we have moved to write PHP script, first we want to make database connection, so we have open database connection.php file. Here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to, nuke to class, with MYSQL host is equal to localhost, database name set to testing, username set to root, and password set to blank. Below this, we have write session start function, it will start session variable on this page. After this, we have create dollar session user ID variable, and under this we have store one. Here we have store one in dollar session user ID variable. Now we have go to index.php file. Here first we want to load particular user to do list in his account when he is login into account. Here first we have write. Include statement with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on this page. After making database connection, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from task list table, where user ID is equal to dollar session user ID variable. Order by task list ID in descending order. Below this select query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement. And under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Now for query execution, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute select query. Below this, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. Now we have moved to write HTML code. So here we have already included bootstrap library and jQuery library link. In style tag, we have write body tag, and in this we have set font family property, with comic sans ms font family. Same way we have write list group item class, and in this we have set font size property with 26 pixel.
Now here we have create one division tag, with bootstrap class list group. Between this division tag, we have start write PHP script, with for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar style variable is equal to blank value. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar row task status variable value is equal to yes. If this condition, true then it will execute if block, and under this we have write, dollar style variable is equal to text decoration property set to line through after this we have write echo statement and under this we have write anchor tag with ref attribute is equal to hashtag after this we have write style attribute is equal to dollar style variable Same way we have write class attribute is equal to bootstrap list group item class. Now we have write id attribute, here we want to generate dynamic value for id, so here we have write list group item, with dollar row task list id variable, it will generate dynamic id value. After this, we have write data id attribute is equal to dollar row task list id variable here we have store task list id column data under this data id attribute now in anchor text we have write dollar row task details variable it will display content of task which has been added by user Lastly, we have write span tag, with class is equal to badge, data id attribute is equal to dollar row task list id variable. For remove to do list from list, user can click on this tag, and content will be removed from list. So here our code is ready. For load particular user to do list on web page, with remove button, so we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see when page has been load into browser, then on web page we can see one to do list on web page. That means there is one records has been store in one user ID. So it display that data on web page, so this way we can display to do list content on web page. In next part, we will discuss how to create or add new to do list and display on web page using Ajax with PHP. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.